we are going through predefined functional interfaces and in this video we are going to see our third predefined functional interface which is consumer in consumer we have only one abstract method and this method accept an input argument but it does not return anything it returns void in our last video we have seen supplier which does not accept anything it just supply a return object okay and opposite to that supplier we have here consumer which does not return anything it just consume okay that means it takes input argument and if we define consumer let's say we have a consumer of employee that means it takes employee as an input argument and it does not return anything it just print here this system dot out dot print method the return type of this print method is void and that's why it's a valid consumer because it takes an input argument as employee and it returns nothing it just print to the console so the important thing to note here in consumer functional interface is that the lambda implementation takes any type of input argument but it does not return anything it just consume the input argument that's why it's called as consumer and in consumer we have one default method which is called as and then and this default method we can use to chain multiple consumers together and we are going to see them in action in id so if you see here we have a list of students and what is the content of this list if you see here we have total seven student and each student has name city and age now here we have created consumer of student when we say consumer of student that means this consumer is going to take an input argument of student so yes it's taking an input argument of student and it is printing to console okay it is not returning anything if i open this print method you see here the written type of print method is void okay and similarly we are creating another consumer which is again the consumer of student that means it is taking student as an input argument and it is printing the city of a student to the console okay. now let's use this first consumer so what we are doing is we are streaming the elements of student and then we are using for each so here the important thing to note is this for each method in streams api takes consumer okay so interviewer can ask like which streams api takes consumer as an input argument okay then the answer is for each okay or you may be asked like what is the input parameter type of for each method then it is a consumer okay so what we are doing is we are streaming the items of student and then for each item we are calling this consumer method okay and if i run this program then the names of student will be printed okay so if you see here the names are printed and it's not on new line because we are using print not println okay now there is one default method that we can use to chain the consumers which is dot and then and we can write another consumer here print city okay and if i run this program again then it will print the name of student and then print city of student for each element and that's why we can see here student name dash student city so the important thing to note here about consumer interface is that it takes an input argument of any type but it does not return anything or we can say it returns void and next thing to note here is that for each method of streams api it takes consumer as an input parameter and this consumer can be chained using the default method and then so that is all about consumer see you in the next video which is about function thank you have a great day bye bye